Hello there and welcome back to the colony with Man of the Ants. Today we are once again playing the freezing cold world of Arctica 1, Arctica.1, Arctica period 1, Arctica. Today's mission is, I've already forgotten what it was, I say I've already forgotten, it's been a few days since I played. Today's mission is, oh, back to the Galleria. Galleria mission 2, eliminate all enemies, repair the turrets and confront Jack Mitchell. Should probably know who Jack Mitchell is, I guess. So I can't quite remember what we did with our guns. I know we bought one new gun. And we were going to ditch the Akari for now, weren't we? Just because it's a little bit OTT. So we're going to see how we go along without it. As fun as it was, I did miss the, uh, the force of bullets, I guess. So what have we got? This is our new one. Which does that. I think we'll probably just use it as a, as a single shot thing, yeah? And then we got that one. I do love the feel of that one. All right then, so they're both gold at the moment. We'll see, oh my gold, my gloves are gold. I did not know that was a thing that, that happened. But let's see if that can make my face gold as well. Let's see if any of that sticks when we actually get into the level then, because it does seem to be a little bit hit and miss whether the colours stick or not. Alright then, elevator dance over with, into the car. I do have a bit of a hatred of that particular elevator ride because it serves no purpose. May as well get into the elevator and just press the start mission button. All right then, so confronting, confronting Jack, I want to say Jack Whitehall, but probably not Jack Whitehall because he's that British comedian. So confronting Jack someone, Jack Snowball. Jack Ball Hall? Paul Ball. Oh, hey, Vicky. Jack and his men would be expecting you to come in through the main entrance. So this time, I'm taking you to an emergency entrance. With luck, you might be able to surprise Jack. That's gone forever, isn't it? What have we got here? Plus, if they've been doing experiments on the Yagas, you will avoid the main nest area. Can't get my gun out, apparently. Can't attempt to shoot Vicky in the face. Is it weird that she's driven us here? Does she always drive? See, if it did this every time, give us some backstory to the mission, got a bit of scenery, I would much... A pass card from the glove box. Oh, crap. Oh, okay. Bridge. I would much prefer it if that was the case. I wonder if that was their original intention, perhaps. Head out once the bridge is ready. Okay, um... I would, I would love to. What do I... How do I... How do I do that, Vicky? I've got the pass card. Now what? You can look at me all you like, but... I feel like I should be teleporting over there, but it doesn't want to work. That's gone again. Um, oh. Right. Open the door. I guess that would help, wouldn't it? We had this operated by our cards only, so the bandits can't cross. Why don't you do that to all of the things around? Why oh, is my headset sitting on my face weird? It's a bit better. Main functions. Uh, area 5. Okay. Lights. Barrier control. Call technician. Bridge. Did I? Wasn't aware that I did that, but fair enough. Once again, I do love that the breath or the steam from your breath only appears when you talk. I think that's a really nice little function. How is that water not frozen? What does that say it was in here? Like minus 18, minus 19? How is that not for us? It's a snow melting area. How does that work? Careful. Of 
course. I mean, there's another task here, in addition to trying to find Jack. The turrets are down. I've authorized the Firebird to meet you when you reach them. He can help repair them. You might be glad to have them operational. Cool. We've seen of Jack and his men. Up ahead is the emergency entrance. From here, you can get into the mall. Okay. Be careful and good luck. Okay. That's a beautiful shot. If that blue thing wasn't there, that light coming through is absolutely beautiful. The Firebird should be there any second now. Ah. Which means is. the enemies are as well. Prepare this turret, Boyle. So immediately missing the power of the Akari. Why are you so impossible to kill all of a sudden? All right, how are we doing? We all good? Where, where am I going? Oh, I heard it. Ah, there it is. Let's do it. I'm gonna, oh. Even though it's relatively light in here, I'm gonna leave the lights on. Because I do tend to disorientate the enemy sometimes. What am I doing here? Why are you just stopped? Oh, I, I see. Okay. Uh, ventilation. Activate service. Door control. Scanner. Call technician. Bit of everything. Files were encrypted on this computer. Photos, videos, documents. You need to obtain a public key. That's fine. Go get him. Are you called Jack? No, you're not Jack. What's the scanner? The Firebird. That's what he is, the Firebird. It'd be nice if these were... Oh, they get bullet holes, but they're not exactly destructible, are they? It'd be nice if you could just blow their heads off or something. All right, let's do this again, shall we? Pua! So rude. What did I ever do to them? Great job. Broke Using here. this gun cool. to cover the air. The colours have all gone again. Look, why is that one always flat yellow? Fix your game. Monitor. That should be a relatively yeah, easy thing to fix. You'd have thought. Thought. Oh my god. You'd have, to go You'd have thought. I'd be easy to fix, wouldn't ya? Yeah, I quite like using this as the main gun. Whilst this one charges up for a burst. I like that. I like that. All right, because he's going to be fairly terrible this round, isn't it? Seems I've just been wasting it by firing at things. That's my phone making weird noises. If you were there for the last live stream, you may have been around when we were discussing phones briefly and I said I had the LG G4 which I bought specifically because it had a removable battery and an SD card. I bought it outright and the plan was I'd use that for three to four years or something, save myself a bit of money rather than running like a 30-40 pound contract a month. The day after that stream that phone died. 
looked into it and apparently there's a known fault with the LG G4 where there becomes like some sort of weird solder disconnect between the little and big processors. So as soon as it tries to do anything even vaguely intensive, the phone just kills itself. And it can't be fixed, obviously, because it's a hardware fault. So I just have a dead phone because LG's quality control and such things is apparently a little bit crappy. And I know I had it, I've had it for two years or something. But people who actually use their phones quite a lot had the issue after a few months of owning it in some cases. I don't really play games or anything, so I never really saw the... Uh, the full sort of potential of the phone in terms of hardware, so I never really taxed it all that much, which is why mine lasted two years. But apparently, yeah, it's just a thing with this phone. So that's nice. There is a way of disabling the big processors to get your data back, but I just thought it was nice and ironic. Is it ironic? I don't know. Coincidentally timed at the very least that the day after I tell people about me buying this phone to last me years, the phone dies in an irreparable way. Hilarious. So anyway, yeah, I'm now using my old phone, using my old HTC Desire. And it's slightly noisier than the LG. I don't know if anyone's ever used the LG, uh, the uh, HTC Desire. But they have the two front facing speakers at the top and bottom of the phone. There you are. The and they are loud. Are Even on minimum volume. And Victoria. How are you, darling? She's not here, mate. I know she's with you. Oh. In my head. She's listening in. Watch but never putting her own robotic ass on the line, oh no. Well, why would she? We I mean... are expendable to you and to Citadel. Yeah, where she's... There's like three of her in the world. That friend. Citadel betrayed me. The colonists. Oh, you're Jack. Victoria. Everyone betrayed me. Hey, Jack. You were going to leave He didn't betray you. You to fucking die, weren't you, bitch? But I outsmarted your supposedly perfect cybernetic brain. See this? This contains blood samples from your mother's lab, Victoria. Samples that have been, shall we say, improved. Oh, don't be stupid. He's got a caged Yaga. Wait. No. No. It's not a Yaga. Not yet. Now, don't be shy. Don't be stupid. You to have a front row seat. I'm going to show you what's in store for every man, woman, and child in Arctic. <laughs> don't do this! I can't still help you with the teleporter! Aw, oh, dude. I'm finally going to get my seat at the table, and there won't be a fucking thing anyone can do about it. Won't be any bugger left! I'm not going to kill you. It's Why not? Be much more fun to watch you turn into this. Oh, is it now? Unless you've got someone with a dart gun pointed at me right now, you, you're dead. But, but Don't take the risk. It takes weeks for someone to turn. What the hell has he done? He's improved it. Oh, hello. Oh, hello. I thought he was cruel. Brutal, even. But he's a monster. We have to stop him. I can't seem to track where Jack went. You need to return to the tower as soon as possible. Ding, 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 ding. Oh, that's literally the end of the mission. Okay. Well, that's a short one, I guess. Dooby dooby doo. So what's that? It's only taking about like, fifteen minutes. Hmm. 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 Program to protect the people of Arctica One, and they've never faced a worse threat than now. No. Jack and his men are in full attack mode, so it's not safe for the technicians to recover the drone themselves. 
I'm sending you back to the rail station. Okay. Get the drone and escort it to where the technicians can reach it safely. That makes sense. Yep. A Citadel mercenary's job has always been vital to the colony, but yep. now, well, we may be saving the lives of what's left of humanity. Yeah. Maybe. Maybe. Good luck. Oh, yeah. Uh, yes, good luck. Good luck to you two. Can't pick that up, apparently. Uh, so we've got all three of the threes. 150 grand in the bank. 19% accuracy. Only 16 headshots. What? What? What was that? Okay, so I am going to leave that there. We'll pop down to the armor in a second. It is obviously quite a short video, but some of these missions take 40 minutes or so to do. So I don't want to start something off and then it'd be taking a couple of hours. But next time, what we're going to be doing... Eliminating all the enemies, retrieving the data from the drone vault, and delivering the drone to the technicians. Seems easy enough, doesn't it? So how many missions? We've done two in the Galleria. Nope. Uh, there's another one in the Cargo. No more in the Metro. There's one more in there. So it might only be three more missions to go, I think. I think... So pop down to the garage. I don't think we've got enough money for another gun, which is a bit of a shame. We can upgrade the old, um, whatever that gun is. Our newest gun. Get a clip capacity in that. I think that's going to be very useful for that one. I do find the smaller clips. Did I go to the garage? Oh, don't do that. Yep. Now to the armory. We get a bit more music, I guess, don't we? Right. So then, what do we have in here? What do we have? What do we have? What do we have? First of all, we only have 156. I'm very sure we cannot afford any more guns. Very sure. We don't really like the mine at all, do we? So I guess that's all you haven't upgraded that. We can get that up to 50% extra damage, though. That would, in fact, be insane amounts of damage. Frekia, we did that one. That was that one there. The Craftig. Craftig. Craftig is the one we haven't done at the moment. It doesn't actually get a magazine, which is a bit annoying, but we can get its damage up. And then that's 100 and... Well, we could actually buy. It's only six shots, though, and I don't generally like those. So we'll try and get it in the end. Da -da 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 yeah, if anything, it's the car for that I want, really. Really. So let's get the Crafe Tig upgraded. I do like the laser and I do like damage. So let's wait for that to go. The colours don't actually save anything else you paint apart from your guns, does it? Everything's actually matted as well, rather than the... That didn't save its colour either. And that's gone back to... Ooh, the spray paint colour function in this game is a bit infuriating. Uh... Oh, oh, back up. Crafe dig, damage, buy upgrade. Let's purchase that one. And I think we'll probably leave that there. Just because we don't want to spend too much money. We want to make sure we have enough for next time. And any other things we can buy really are armor, which we're not too bothered about, because we don't seem to have really much issue staying alive even without the Akari and then we've got the scopes and I'm not really too bothered about the scopes either to be honest I think as long as I've got the lasers I don't really need the scopes and now I have the lasers awesome cool well then I guess we should leave that there so it is a bit of a short video so Sorry about that, other some of you may prefer the short video, but like I said, I don't want to start a new mission off, because if it takes another half hour or something, we might be here for an hour or so, so... 
do it, we'll stick to one mission per video. So I'm gonna leave that there. So I hope you enjoyed the latest part of Arctica 1. If you did enjoy it, please do click the like button, always appreciated. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And of course, any comments, leave them down below and I'll get back to you as soon as I see them. Otherwise, I will see you next time in Arctica 1, or I will hopefully see you Wednesdays at 6 p.m. for my regularly scheduled streaming, which will currently still be alien isolation for the next week or two well at least two weeks maybe three depending on how fast i get through the next bits i guess but at least a couple more weeks of alien isolation in vr so come along and see that come along and keep me company come along and say hello that would be awesome so hopefully i'll see you there otherwise i'll see you back in arctica one next time and thank you very much for joining me